Anyway, so hello and welcome back. Ooh, doors closed to another coin video. And today we are talking about whether the 2021 $1 is hype. So we're just going to show some examples of other coins. And well, basically, I think it is. So uh, let me just get rid of the screen. Sorry, I can't stare at you, my fucking face. So, what we have here is we have the Royal Australian Mint website. You can always get the web address up here. And here's the $1 coins from the past few years, 2019. And here we are, 2021, 160,000 coins. So, it's based on the annual reports. Then we've got 2021, 6 million. So, that obviously rules it out being a coin worth keeping. Unless it's uncirculated, from circulation you go for one dollar. Yeah, I would buy that one in uncirculated condition for over five bucks. Uh, just buy the mid set. It will come in that. Okay, so if we need to check to see if the actual vintage is one hundred sixty thousand. So if we go to Numister, we can check the statistics and they have two so they have partial mintage of 160,000 but they've also got the beautifully uncirculated sets with 68,000 pretty much the same coin so I just included circulating coins because it's pretty much just the same just undamaged uh, so then we have 228,000 coins now I do not Include proofs because they're made differently, and also we have got um privy mark coins of 4,000 each, so it's an ANDA coin show. So we've got platypus, numbat, the beta possum, and koala, and they're being stamped. And then we've got other years, and as you can see in the other years 2020, they made a heap of different types of one dollar coins in 2019. And let's see how much they sell for. So, a lot of the coins you're going to find on eBay. So, this is uh, Google donation dollar, a thousand, yeah, whatever. You get a lot of people trying to say this is a, a scarce coin, or obviously they're not, but it's, yeah, rare, rare, nah, 12 million of each, yeah, very common. Okay, so, uh, Maybe, yeah, I need to go to eBay for that one. But we don't want to look at 2017 yet. Okay, 2021, $1 coin. Okay, and basically a lot of the low values are, why well, are you putting that on? That's just junk. Okay, commemorative coins. And we do have other commemorative coins. So, because it's 12.5 million 2021, so maybe they scale back the mob of ruse. Uh, but so far, going in the low values, I haven't actually come across a mob of ruse. <clears throat> so, we need to go down probably a fair way. Okay, I've got the four dollar value. So obviously people are not trying to sell Marlboro's for a pretty low value. Okay. So I need to scale it back. Mob of Roos. Let's see what that comes up with. Okay, so now we not including these, they're pretty marks. Fifty dollars, I'm surprised it goes for that. Okay, seventy dollars. That's from a mint set. So basically, $70, you can probably buy an entire mint set, $70, $80. Just remember, it's about six, yeah, whatever. So I don't see too many. So here we have a $1, $41. So that's a proof coin. So I don't see too many. Um, 2020, 
Yeah, it's probably too high a price for that. Although it does have free postage. So maybe we need to refine it again. It sold items. Okay, mint set. So the about the ones from the mint set's about 78 bucks. Once again, just buy a mint set. Okay, so we've got 50, 60, 50. These all look like they're from mint sets. Just from the quite see this one's been cut. So basically, if you wanted to make a bit of money from mint sets, what you get, you get a whole mint set. You either take all the coins out and grade them, which you're probably not going to make money on most of them. So what you do is just cut them out and you sell them all separately, especially the low mint coins, 1987, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so, oh, yeah. Okay, mob of JC, low mintage. It's 2020, obviously not. Uh, so there's not too many of them. Looks like they sell for 50, 60 bucks, but they looks like they're all for mint sex. Anyway, so we're looking at the 1987. As you can see, none were produced for circulation. If we look at the mintage figures, we have 200,000 coins in a circulate mint set. So you can get a mint set for about 30, 40 dollars. Then we've got proof. In 89, you've got 150,000. Then 90, 100,000. So it's getting less and less. Then 91, we have uh, 147,000. And then we have Ava coins as well. 92. Okay. So this is the Holy Grail, 92. 8,000 apparently, but none of them have been found. So either the mint's holding on them or they scrapped them all. And there's been two proofs. People have been showing those on Facebook. Yeah, so they're probably just mint support. And then 94, yeah, common coin. So let's have a look at how much... The actual 1987 costs. So you can get them out, you can get them for about under $15 for one from a set. But, so this is the lowest, so under $20, I wouldn't be paying more than $15 for a $1 from 1987. Let's have a look how much um, circulated set. <clears throat> okay, 30 bucks. Yeah, between 30 and 40, you can get the whole set. And what you're going to get is all these coins. So, 1987. So, the 1 and 2 cent we should circulation, the 5 and 10 cent were. Uh, so what you're looking for is the 20, 50 and 1 dollar which will not issue for circulation. So if you're going to buy each of these 15 bucks, there's 45 for just those three coins. When you $30 or for $35, you can buy a whole set including all of these. So pretty much if you're going to get low mint coins and are issued in set, get the set because from my experience it's the cheapest option okay and then so that that's a coin that hasn't been hyped up 1987 one dollar coin a coin that is common that has been hyped up is this one so the red poppy and if we look at the mintage figures you have 500,000 issued RSL cards. So these were never issued for the circulation. They sold for $10 in 2012. Buy the RSL. And that's where you get the rolls from. They come in rolls. Uh, and then you've got C mint marks. And then you've got 30,000 in 2018. But we're excluding those. 
So you got five hundred thousand. Then you got sixty thousand, sixty one, sixty two thousand C mint marks. Okay. And then we have the value. So five hundred thousand is quite a common coin. So the minimum I found the damage coins for two hundred bucks. Two hundred bucks for a coin is has a five hundred thousand minted. To me, that's crazy. That's just hype because it's got a little bit of red paint on it. So you got two hundred fifty dollars. 250 300 to me this is just like a lot of coins this is just hype obviously people are willing to pay it uh, but to me it's just not worth it i personally wouldn't collect the coin for that price because at this value you're not going to make your money back because there's just too many of them how many of these probably at least hundred of them for sale at any one time so and then you've got graded ones and then you can find pretty much all the coin shops should have some of these coins in stock okay but then we have other coins so here's a year of the rat 2020 i actually have one on the table so let's let's have a look at this coin packet first. I did review this, but people are generally just not interested in it. Okay, so right now this OBS doesn't work sometimes. So we actually have the yeah, coin in here, some mintage. It states it is unlimited specifications on normal 50 cent coin. And we have Jody Clark effigy on the back. And these are pretty much what they come in since they've started. They haven't decided to change. I don't think they should actually change. They should, if they're going to keep on minting these every year, they should just keep them standard. If you change it, you're going to destroy everyone's collection. So basically that is the year of the rat coin. It's actually quite a nice coin. I wouldn't mind getting them, but the earlier ones are actually expensive. So I'll purchase that for about $8. Okay, so um, the mintage is 19,186 and 888 in PNCs. So that's a, a lower mint than any of the coins that we've seen just now. And if you wanted to buy, so the PNC, the 888, that would be the most expensive because that's a, a very, well, it's important to Chinese culture, the number eight means wealth, something like that. Okay, so if you want to buy one, obviously, well, coin under twenty thousand, you're going to be paying yeah about twenty dollars for postage, twenty five dollars. So between twenty and twenty five dollars for postage. If you get like I got this as a special for uh, New Year's Eve, not not New Year's Eve, Boxing Day special. That's why I got it for eight bucks. And uh, as you can see, twenty twenty five dollars you can get one of these coins. That is a low mint, so it's not five hundred thousand. It's only less than twenty thousand. So, and you, if you look at the numerous catalog, you find that there are a lot of these coins. So, if we see you have the dragon, I think this one's a bit more expensive. The dragon's more popular. Yeah, thirty thousand. New York the monkey, two thousand sixteen. What's the vintage of that? Twelve thousand. So you even get less. So, basically, yeah, I like the monkeys. So basically, you can get. Uh, let's see how much. Uh, 
that one is hopefully you of the monkey okay sixteen thousand yeah you can get one yeah you be paying about sixty seventy dollars which for a coin of twelve thousand I am not surprised you can get a lot of other coins although you know this one for thirty dollars well, it looks a bit damaged it's probably why they sell it for that much but other coins you know 45 maybe i'll put that on but damn too much stuff on the watch list okay you got 75 yeah so you know if you wanted to get something that's worthwhile and then low mintage you got this year of the monkeys year of the elephant year of the bulldozer whatever coin you want so anyway this is where i'll leave it here so mine just basically looking on that looking on a hype coin which is the 2012 poppy high mintage obviously high value because it's high up then we have the one dollar coin from 987 obviously this one you know a lower mintage than the 2012 poppy but not hyped up and look at the price then with the 2021 so this one has an undefined mintage at the moment but it's been hyped up being 60 70 bucks so it's definitely high then we have the 2000 is it 16 now we'll look at i actually done this one yeah 2020 less than 20,000 but not hyped up and you can actually get them for a low value so obviously monkeys a lot yeah the rats viewed as a dirty animal so maybe that's not going to be a very popular so hope this helps you with your coin collecting okay i'll stop recording now have fun with whatever you do. Thank you, Anne. Goodbye.